Slobodina. So today I would like to start a, a new series called Wooden Tips. And I would like to start it with this uh, folding ruler. Yeah, I know, I know. You might say that it's an ancient tool, it's outdated, it has no tab to hook on the on your part. It's bigger than the regular uh, tape measure. It takes a lot of time to fold it, unfold it and fold it back. It has no uh, belt clip, so you have a you need a dedicated pocket for it. You would be absolutely right on this one. But in my opinion, it has more pros than cons. So let me start with the most obvious one, which is stiffness. This folding ruler is way, way stiffer in comparison with a regular tape measure. And this is a great feature because you can probe into something. For example, into uh, wall insulation, you can easily probe through the insulation and measure the depth uh, or the thickness of the wall. Uh, you can put it into water and measure all the depth of all kinds of vessels. Also, you can probe into tiny uh, grooves or tiny crivets where this one wouldn't fit because of that tab. And some manufacturers even have a, an insert in the, the first linkage, so you can extrude it and measure tiny uh, spots, tiny areas, just like uh, the caliper has this uh, thing. And secondly, uh, most manufacturers make these uh, to lock in 90 degrees, so you can easily create a speed uh, square and mark your 90 uh, on spot. Of course, if you need uh, super precise angles, you should use super precise tools, which you won't have on hand at any time. So that's why this is so handy. Some of these have uh, 45 degree locking, but in my opinion, you trade uh, durability for uh, extra feature. I think this uh, would outlast that, uh, that the one with the 45 degrees. But it's just my opinion. You don't have to rely on that. And if you would combine these two features, the locking and the stiffness, you get an extra one, which is measuring uh, some odd places. For example, you have to measure some sort of a opening or a niche up there. So you just create this angle or you create a longer one and you can reach it without any ladders. The same goes with a, uh, some, something down there or in some odd place where you cannot put uh, tape measure or you cannot uh, insert your hand. So you can create an angle and measure there. So it has saved a day a few times before. So it's not very uh, common use of it, but it's really handy when you know you can do it with just this tool. And I found myself using this one more as a spacer than the ruler itself. I'm not sure if it's done on purpose, if there's some sort of a regulament or something, but one linkage is precisely th three millimeters, which is very useful thickness in uh, cabinetry. For example, you are assembling a kitchen or installing some sort of a multiple ca cabinet unit and you need to adjust all your doors and drawers and all the covers. So this is the spacing I use all the time. At least it's the very good starting point for adjustment. Of course, you can always use some cards or, or some shims, but it's just something you have in your pocket at all times. And it's made of uh, multiple uh, links. So you can basically create any thickness you want up to 30 millimeters with three millimeter increments. And also I taught myself to use uh, odd uh, reference points when I don't need a precise measurement. For example, 
I'm installing some uh, leveling feeds under some cabinet or something like that. I grab whatever uh, I have on hand. Usually this comes first. So if I need to measure something from the edge, I can unfold only one piece, put it against the edge, and I have a perfect mark every time. I can unfold uh, separate uh, linkages and create other thickness. So if you don't need a precise measurement, you just need a consistency. So this is the tool to, to have. So most of the features I mentioned can be easily replicated with a few scraps of wood and a tape measure. So the main feature this has is convenience because it's always with you. It's always in the pocket. You don't have to interrupt your workflow. So I believe that's the greatest feature it has. So if I convince you to add one of these into your everyday carry and you decided to purchase one, I would like to briefly uh, talk about the features to look for and avoid. Historically, these are made out of wood and some of the manufacturers still make them uh, wooden, but I would say this is the no-go. Because wood tends to split and crack easily, it's not uh, as consistent as the modern plastics. It's way less stress resistant. And for that reason, uh, most manufacturers add a binding on, the, on every link to prevent the wood from uh, absorbing the moisture and cracking. And if you remember, one of the greatest feature is uh, parallel surfaces to use it as a spacer. So if you have a binding on that, guess what's gonna happen? You lose this feature. Plus, they don't seem to hold on very long. So in my opinion, wooden ones are really outdated. So choose uh, made out of durable materials. Look for a great uh, uh, linkage points. I would suggest uh, to avoid those uh, multiple uh, angle linkages. I think they wear out uh, uh, faster. I have this for like four years and I use it daily and only the first link is a bit loose, but I have plenty more to choose from. So I just have to remember not to use the first one when I want 90 degrees. So you probably saw what happens uh, to the ruler or an, any other uh, measure, measuring tool when you use it often. The first portion you use the most uh, loses its markings and it's no longer useful. So that's why uh, I would say you should look for uh, recessed uh, markings so it would last longer. Finally, just as for the tape measure, I would look uh, for the one with uh, multiple units with uh, inches and centimeters. And lastly, more of a psychological advice, don't be frugal on this one. If you buy a high-end tool, it will last you for five years or even more. At first times when I got this one, I was, a, I was a bit skeptical, but using this one now, it's just my second nature. I would trade this one for my pinky. Now I think I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, but it, it, it's a really great tool. I can't stress it enough. Try it out. But you might need a pocket. Thank you for watching and see you on Sunday. Bye-bye.